What's up, fellow? I'm DJ Cameron on Games here, back again with a brand new video, and today we are actually going to be doing a discussion on The Walking Dead uh, Season 3. Simulation I'm really excited for this game, and before you mention, uh, wait, you're talking about Walking Dead. You have a Walking Dead game, but yeah, you use Arkham Knight for your background, for your gameplay. Well, I do apologise. But the Walking Dead gameplay I have has commentary already over it, and I don't know how to do it, so deal with it, okay? Um, but I'm g I have a couple notes written down on this piece of paper. Uh, five things I think are going to happen. Two are technically the same. Two, technically four. But two things could happen to a character. All right, so the character coming down. But all right. Um, and I do have another video coming out tomorrow, well actually, this, that video comes out first, it's an EastEnders video, and, uh, this one comes out after, so, you, you will have seen, hopefully you will have seen the EastEnders one by then. So, first thing I think might happen in The Walking Dead Season 3 is Clementine becomes pregnant, okay? She might be a still teenager, teenager in The Walking Dead, but she looks old enough to, you, you know, I don't have to mention it, it happened in the, the last Walking Dead video between Luke and Jane, don't need to mention, but I think Clementine is going to become pregnant, and the father, I don't know who the father will be, I doubt it's going to be... Rebecca and Harvey's kid, although I think it might be Rebecca and Harvey, I, I don't know, but it is definitely Rebecca and Harvey. But, alright, the second one is highly, alright, actually no, I'm going to do this bit by bit. So, alright, for more on Clementine becoming pregnant, I think that she, Clementine is, I think she's ready to become a mother and to, I don't want to say half, but have a more interesting story that the whole game develops around. Telltale games are on a monthly release schedule, so again, an episode comes out each month, so it's, kind of, it's like a season pass, basically. So, unlike, I think that, I think that, I honestly think that if they could have Clementine, if they, if episode one, she's not pregnant, like, they could have that, this game be longer than the others and have it revolve around the whole year, a whole year, this game could take place, f uh, five episodes, that could be, alright, do you know something, I'm not also doing maths at the moment, uh, I've just finished school, I don't want to be doing maths, but, yeah, so basically, what I, um, Clementine, I think she's going to become pregnant, yeah. And, hmm. Now, alright, we're gonna get on to, uh, uh, second one. And that also revolves around Clementine, that could be Clementine dies. I think Clementine might die in, this is just a prediction, she might die in season three. Um... Clementine, she has been in all the games, she has lived a life, even though we haven't seen much of it. She was first introduced when she was seven, or no, or on nine-ish, but, and it was confirmed she was eleven in season two, and that's not a spoiler alert, because that was, uh, that was in... That was age five. I'm past that bit now. I'm on episode five. But uh, yeah, Clementine. I think season three. If they are not doing season four, then I think season three is fine. Is coming Clementine send off as a character, and it's going to be emotional because I, I think she might her death might even be more emotional than Lee Lee's death from season one, and that. Oh my god, um, I wasn't crying, because I'd already seen, I, basically, I knew it was emotional, I, 
But my uh alright, my brother he is not that emotional. I alright, PewDiePie also cried, but my brother actually cried when Lee died or when he was watching PewDiePie's reaction because I don't think he had the game at the time. But wow, well, I think this game so this uh, if Clementine dies the whole I think F I I might even cry, I don't know. But alright, that's it for Clementine, but for Clementine died for my second prediction. Third prediction is alright, this revolves around what you choose I know I think apparently Kenny you get the choice to either kill Kenny or do something episode 5, I watched Joseph so play it, um, I, just so I know what I'm choosing for it, uh, but, if, if Kenny survives, and if he does come in this game, if you do choose to keep him alive, then, Kenny, I think, season 3 is when he's definitely going, no choice, season 3 is definitely Kenny's, Return for one last time. I've got it down here and Kenny's death. And it's going to be emotional. Wow. Like I was saying with Clementine, if Kenny dies, it's going to be even more emotional than Lee's death. And yeah, it's just so. It's so unfortunate. I really, really hope Kenny doesn't die. I want a whole game based on Kenny. Maybe have a prequel cool game that's set in between season one and two or maybe even set before season one i don't know but yeah number four is see season one and two characters return maybe for the last time i didn't put that down but season one and two characters both for both return we could have lily whatever her last name is return we could have luke come back we could have Anyone who, if Luke is, I don't know if Luke's dead or not, but if Luke, because I haven't finished the game yet, but if Luke is alive, I guarantee he is going to be in this game. He's so going to be in this game. I've actually come to like Luke as well. He's alright. Uh, but, yeah, I think Clementine is going to, uh, uh, if there's any season one characters other than Kenny, I can't think of any of it because all right, let's be realistic. Lee is never coming back to The Walking Dead, even if it's a, it's a flashback or anything like that. He's not coming back. I wish, I wish they could do this thing where Lee is just magically alive. Yeah, but I ain't never, ever happening. It'll be, it'll be cool to see Lee return. Um, I don't know how, okay, uh, if you, if you want to comment below on any suggestions how the could return, I am perfectly fine with that, because as much as I want him to, it ain't happening, I'm sorry, uh, alright, now this is the one that is the most unlikely, but it could happen, I don't know if they've confirmed this, if they're both set in different timelines or whatever, I don't know. But if Michonne appears, Michonne appears. I don't know how to spell a name, so I just I don't know if you can add it. I I don't know how to spell a name, so I just wrote M M I C H O double N E. Probably not a spell. I might actually have a heads up before I'll have a little thing there. But, Michonne, uh, I guarantee, if Michonne does appear, then that is going to be sick. Literally, if Michonne and Clementine meet, everyone is going to be off their seats. It's going to be like, oh my god, Telltale Games would be, on honestly, Telltale Games would be like, almost the best game. I think that some people do class as the best game makers of our time right now, which I find a little bit biased, but I can't like, yeah. to an extent I actually agree, Telltale yeah. Games, from what I've seen, are great, but if Michonne does appear, 
Walking Dead Season 3 could potentially be, could even get Game of the Year, even though this game is coming out late, 2016, it's coming out in, actually I think it's coming out at the same time, I think what I'm getting back on the Telltale series, Battle of the I just thought, yeah, it's called Battle of Telltale series. Things that I'm getting it's just October, so if, the, if both games are out at the same time, that's gonna be sick. You know, I can have double walkthroughs for both games. And yeah, I really can't, I really can't stress enough that if Michonne, if Michonne appears, you, appears, you do know you could potentially have Game of the Year for 2016 and the best Telltale game ever. I'm just saying, I don't know how good the Batman game is gonna be. But if, yeah, it is probably going to be really good. Wow, I I am excited for this game, and I'm actually going to be doing a one. Uh, all right, all right. Uh, I'm just going to mention quickly. Uh, these are all the five notes. Right there. These are all the five notes, and now I'm going to be on about next one. I'm going to do this for. All Telltale games already because uh, I, uh, I can't really do it for a time to watch because it's just a remaster and there's no other games that are really that interesting to me. So, Telltale games, I will be doing prediction videos for it. Um, I plan to do one for the Batman series, but not yet because I want to I wanna finish oh, Walking Dead to do some oh, extended videos. Couple of vlogs, then I'm gonna, uh, then I'm gonna start my hype train for Batman Health Health series. Cause yeah, the only re main reason I am ex I'm excited for that game is because it's looking at Batman and Bruce Wayne. Yeah, okay. But yeah, I'm. That's the second. Oh. Yeah. Alright, mine's back. Okay, uh. Yeah, um, I just want. Also, I also want to mention that. Um. I think I might even do a le uh, walkthrough on the Wolf Among Us. If you've never played the Wolf Among Us, it is another Telltale game. Yes, I'm becoming madly addicted to Telltale games. They are really good. I might, yeah. all right. I might even make a whole video ded dedicated to why I'm addicted to oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Telltale games. And just keep shooting. Doing it. Doing that. Yeah, do we teams? Fam, I do the dab. I can manage. 